Hi guys, this is Blue Lover 9 with a special guest, AG Stars 8. And today we're going to show you how to make these cute, awesome bed for your Beanie Boos. I hope you guys like it and remember to subscribe. Okay, so this is how your bed will look like when it's done. Well, this is how mine's go mine looks like when it's done. But you guys could use whatever material you guys want. First step, you need one cardboard box. And, f and for this part that I use, that's going to be like what they put their head on, that part, all I did was for the top, for the top of the box it came on, I, I just cut a piece of cardboard off the top. So here's the first step. You're going to need about four shirts for the mattress. So the first shirt you're going to have is you could pick, you could fold it up, or you could crumple it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just crumple this one up, such as a big t-shirt, and you can have it like a big ball or something, and then you just stick it inside. You're gonna grab your next t-shirt, and you're gonna do the same thing: crumple it up, stick it inside, or you can fold it. Or you can fold it, yeah. And then you're gonna grab your third shirt, crumple it up, stick it inside, and the last one I grabbed a big one that that my dad used, but he doesn't need it anymore. So you just put it up on there for big and comfy. And this one we folded. Yeah, this one we folded for the top. And then you could grab like this cloth or anything. You don't even have to use this, but I just picked to do it. And I'm just gonna So it looks like the, a real mattress. Yes. Yeah. And then stick it on the top. Now all you need is a piece of felt or shirt for this part of the box. So what you're going to do is you're going to see these like cracks here? Well, you're going to put this inside the cracks and then kind of push it down until it's a good amount. And then take these and put it in. So... Now for the next step, you're going to need like felt or a t-shirt or any type of material you want. And you're just going to fold it over and tuck it in so then you don't, so then you don't see um, like the box. Next what you're going to need is I just grabbed a, silk, a silky shirt that I found. And I'm just gonna and I'm just gonna cut it apart into like a square. Make sure it's one that you don't need anymore. Just cut it into a square as the sheet covers. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna put it right on top of the covers. So it looks like this. And what you're gonna do with the top is you're gonna grab like the front of it so it looks like a folded bed. And you're gonna just Fold it right over. And then you're going to pull the covers up. Make sure all the sides are good. So it looks like a good bed. Now we're going to talk about the pillows. You know that shirt that Blue Lover 9 used to cut up to use that? Well, now you're just going to need the extras for the pillow. To make these pillows, all we did was... The was that for the extras, we just cut it into like a, a big, not too big, but a big enough square. And then we just folded it over, and the extra shavings that fell onto the ground, we used it as the fluff inside the pillow. And you're going to do that for every single pillow. And then you're just going to fold the sides over onto the back. And you can either staple around or just use tape to secure it in the back. And then, so, yeah. And then we, you can decorate them. Yeah, we put we we just folded all I did I did for most of them was I just folded it on the back and then taped it there. See, um in our other bed we actually didn't use any of the stapling, but we just used only that. So yeah. So yeah, I'm you could set your pillows up however you like, but I like to like to set them up like this. Oh, and I forgot to tell you guys something. Once you're done building the pillows, you could do, you don't have to, but you can. Like I drew on the pillows to do designs, but you could do whatever you want. So yeah, 
Once you're done with that, you're almost done. There's just one more step we need to do to make the bed look even better. This is my bed, and as you can see at the bottom of my bed, I have this blanket that goes at the end, and we're going to use that for our bed that we're making. How you make that is you just grab a scrap of your leftovers that you used before, and you just make it into like a tiny cloth. Like, look at how the other bed looked with the cloth. This is the other bed, and this is the cloth I used. You could tape it on, or you could just, like, leave it on there, like, loose. So what you do with your piece of cloth is you fold up the end so it looks like this. Once you're done with that, you're going to fold the top over, so this part, over just like that, so it meets in the middle, like, like this. So yeah, once you're done with that, once you're done folding, what you're going to do with the cloth is you're going to turn it over so none of the folding marks show, like that. And then you're going to put it right on top of the edge of the bed. And yeah, that's how you make a bed for your Beanie Boos or whatever you're going to use for it. I hope you guys liked it and remember to subscribe. Bye!